So today I decided to film a drugstore Valentine's Day and makeup look for you guys. It's a little frustrating because I already filmed this video once. Um, and I went to go import my footage. Um, and then I realized that it was completely out of focus, which sucks. So I had to wait an entire week to refilm this video because I can only film really on Thursdays because I'm busy throughout the week with class all day long, practice, and then my internship. And the weekends I have track. So I'm basically like filled with crap to do. And Thursdays are really my only free day, so I had to wait an entire week to refilm. Um, but I knew I wanted to film this for you guys because I usually use, not high end, but like I usually use pretty expensive products from Sephora and stuff usually in my videos. And I really wanted to get this video out there for you guys. Um, so you guys can recreate this look on Valentine's Day and not have to break your bank or spend tons of money to just look really feminine and really pretty on Valentine's Day. And also these products are great for everyday use as well. I found some really great products that I love that I didn't really know existed until I went to the drugstore because I usually go to Sephora to get my makeup. I don't really like spend time in the drugstore. But I'm really happy I went there and found some products. So if you guys want to see how I got this drugstore option Valentine's Day makeup look for you guys, then please keep watching. Bye guys! Okay, so for primer today, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York <clears throat> Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, this is such a great dupe for the Benefit Professional. It literally is the same exact thing, and this is half the price of this. I love both products. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with this, though, because if you use too much of the Maybelline, it can get, re it can, it can get really greasy. So I only use a small amount, and I will place it right where I need it so that is where my pores are so right here my chin area my nose and then on my forehead because I want to fill in those lines that I have on my forehead um yeah even that I still use a little much literally less than a penny size not even oh my gosh like half the size of that so just press that into your skin now for foundation I've been using this foundation for about um two weeks now um and I am absolutely in love with it it is a perfect winter foundation um, I am going to be using the L'Oreal Palace Infallible um, Pro Glow in the shade, what shade am I? 205 Natural Beige. This is my fake tan shade. Um, I just fake tanned yesterday, so I'm super, super bronzed. So this is a dark shade, but this foundation is wonderful for the winter because it's just that really nice glowy foundation and it hydrates your skin instead of the matte foundations or more of the natural foundations that just tend to like dry your skin out and accentuate the dry spots on your skin. This won't and this will make you look really, really nice and just glowy and beautiful looking even in the winter time. Now I am going in with the Beauty Blender because that's just my preferred choice of applying my foundation. Um, but the Real Techniques sponge does do a great job of applying your foundation, although um, people say it's the same thing. I don't really necessarily agree, just because the Real T Techniques sponge is a little bit harder than the, um, the Beauty Blender. This one's really, really soft. I have used the Real Techniques sponge, and I did like it. I just went back to the Beauty Blender just because I really do prefer that one. Um, but it is not a bad tool at all, and it definitely is great if you're first starting out with makeup or you just don't feel like breaking the bank. Definitely go with the Real Techniques um, blending sponge, just because it is a great dupe. Um, I just think the Beauty Blender is a little bit better. Also, side note, um, if it seems like I'm looking to my... I don't know if it's the left on the camera or the right. It seems like I'm looking not at the camera. It's just because I'm looking in the viewfinder and I want to make sure that I'm in focus because I already filmed this video once and um, when I went to go upload the footage, this video was supposed to be up last week, um, but when I went to upload the footage, it was completely out of focus the entire video and I don't know, I just can't, ever since I came back from Mexico, I don't know for some reason I can't figure out the autofocus. I didn't change any of the settings. It just wouldn't find my face. Now I have it where it moves with my face, so that's okay. Um, so hopefully this video is better. Um, but I just want to make sure that I'm in focus so that doesn't happen again because filming it for the third time would just be a pain in the butt. Now for concealer, I have used this combo on my channel before and I do love these two products. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Fit Me in the shade Light. So you'll see how I apply these two products. So what I do is I mainly focus the Maybelline eraser um, in the corners of my eyes just because this neutralizes the dark spots and this is where I tend to be the most dark right here. 
I'll take the Fit Me, where I look crazy, and then I'll just apply this to the rest of my under eyes, just because it's easier to blend. Um, it's a lot more hydrating than the eraser. And then I'll just apply this on my chin as well, Cupid's bow, and the nose and the forehead. Now to set my under eyes and make sure that that concealer does not crease, I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder for the under eyes. And I'm going to go in with another powder for my face, which what I usually don't do, but um, I'll tell you guys about that in a second. So I'm going to take my Morphe M438 brush just to set the under eyes. This is a perfect brush for setting the under eyes. It is just that right size that just fits right under the under eye. So I'm just going to pack that on. Definitely gonna set the smile lines just because I get a ton of creasing. Because I'm always happy. And then set right here. God, this powder's going everywhere. Okay, so, since I'm refilming this video, this isn't like a first impressions because usually the products that I bought, um, I did test them out in the video that I first filmed this in. So I didn't know how they reacted to my face or how they worked. Um, but now I have a sort of idea of how they work. But when I first tried this video um i bought this and i wanted to try it out i heard kim tai talking about this on youtube and she was raving about it for a while on instagram too so i decided to give it a try because i don't really branch out with face powders it's just kind of i don't know i feel to me like it's not necessary because i'd rather go buy like a highlighter or a bronzer or a lip product i don't know um but i tried this product out i am in love with it. So it is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder, and I got my um, shade in the shade 20. And what it is is just it sets your foundation. It's beautiful. It makes your face look absolutely airbrushed. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe E3 brush, which is just a really nice powder brush, just to set the rest of my face with this powder. You don't want to swipe the powder. You want to just pounce it into your skin so you don't move the foundation. I'm obsessed with this powder. Oh, I love it. Definitely. This is one of those products that I got from this entire makeup look. I definitely recommend going out and trying that powder because it's just, it's beautiful. It transforms your skin. Just enhances it and makes it look completely airbrushed. I'm in love. So now we're going to wipe away that powder just because I don't want that to sit too long because A, we did use a um, glowy foundation. Also B, my skin is so dry. It doesn't need this powder. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Powder, um, Contouring Palette Contour in the shade. There's different ones. Which one's this one? This is the one 250A Caramel Toffee. So it just has a really beautiful banana colored shade right here for highlighting and then this bronzing shade right here to obviously contour and bronze. Um, I've already used this. I was unsure how I was going to feel about it when I first used it in the video that I filmed just because... Drugstores tend to be very chalky or the look, the colors won't be right. I was scared it was going to look too muddy when I contoured. I actually liked it. It was not the, I'm a go-to like Benefit um, Hula Bronzer girl. Like that is my go-to bronzer. Um, so it wasn't the quite shade that I wanted, but it was, so, it was a great product and it worked well and it looked great on my skin. Um, so I will definitely be using this. Um, let's just say I was like 99% satisfied if that, if that helps out better. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M523 brush for contouring and I'm going to go in with a different brush just to bronze up the skin a little bit. So we're going to take a little bit of this product. It is very powdery, um, just so you guys know. So we're just going to focus this mainly on the cheekbone area. Now for bronzing, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E34 brush, which is just a fluffier brush, um, but still compacted. I'm going to use this for bronzing.
Since I have the palette, I'm going to use both shades. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M438 brush, the one that we set the under eye with, and I'm just going to take the banana shade right here just to brighten up the under eyes a little bit. Um, the only thing with this palette overall is that it's very powdery, so you do want to, um, I mean, with the yellow banana shade, you can have that excess, but with the bronze, you want to make sure that you tap your brush just so you don't have so much product on your face when you're applying it, um, and then... You can always add more and you can't take away, remember that. So just tap your brush if it's really excessively powdery. So what we're going to do is, this is just a brightening shade, and see that? It just brightens the eyes. I, actually, I absolutely love this powder. Like I use it mainly because I get so dark right in here. Like I have so much shading and shadowing on like the sides of my nose and inside here that I have to just brighten it, conceal it, correct it, all the above because there's so much discoloration and brightening powders really do the job of just brightening everything up and making it look great. When your face looks bright, you look more youthful. Shadows tend to cast on your face and make you look a little bit older. So the brightening powder is wonderful. Concealer and brightening powder just makes you look so young and so youthful. Now for blush, I've had this blush for so many years. This is one of my favorite blushes, favorite neutral brushes, especially in the winter. This is one of my favorite winter blushes just because it's just a really soft romantic color. So we're going to go in with Milani's Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And the name exactly what it is, it is just a beautiful neutral rose shade. And I love the detailing on this blush. There's just a, a rose like stamped into the blush. It is just beautiful and I love it. It is one of my go-to shades and I've had this color for years. So I'm going to go in with my Orf Morphe E4 brush just to apply that. Also, if you guys did not know, um, I use Morphe brushes in my videos all the time. I love them. I think they're a wonderful company and they have such great brushes. And what's great about them is they're so, so stinking inexpensive and they have great quality. Um, so I definitely recommend you getting some Morphe brushes if you want to try out um, different brushes. Now for highlight, I did the same mistake I did in this video in the last video. So I love this product, but I mean, you're not really supposed to use creams over when you powder your face. It kind of just doesn't mix well, but it worked well in the last video, so I'm going to do it again. Um, but if I was going to do this again, and I was actually using my noggin, I would put this on before I powdered my face, just because you put cream with cream and then you powder with powder. You don't want to cream powder cream. It just doesn't really work well. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Instant Fix Highlighting Stick. This is such a beautiful shade. There was a couple that I swatched in stores. I know I wanted a highlighting stick to test out. Um, I just didn't know which one I wanted. I tested this one out and I tested, I think, a Maybelline one. I don't know if it was Maybelline or L'Oreal. I don't remember. But this one is the one that I really, really liked. I will swatch it for you guys. It is just a beautiful, golden, just glowy shade. It's so natural looking. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I love to look more natural and glowy and like beautiful within type feels for Valentine's Day. So this is definitely a great product for that. Um, and it is the shade 210 Gold Light. So that's what I'll be using for highlighter today. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to put it on my finger. This is a great highlighter for people who also don't like to like beam like blind people. Or like sparkle when they want their highlighter you know those like crazy ass highlighters I am a fan of I love it um, but this is such a great product if you're more of a natural looking person and you don't want to wear that crazy highlighter try out cream cream are such great products and they look more natural on the skin versus powder a little bit on the tip of the nose and then down the nose Cupid's bow and then of course the chin see just the natural glow that my face gives off. Now I'm going to do my brows off camera just because I have a brow tutorial that you guys can check out. It's the same technique. Um, I do use Benefit in that product in that video, but um, I have switched my product up and it's the same exact thing. Um, just same technique, just different products, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I love both, um, but I'm going to be using. Hold on, I just dropped it. <laughs> I'm going to be using the ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. This is my favorite favorite one that I have used so far is just very creamy and super super inexpensive it is five dollars for this product right here and it does the same exact thing um it's Anastasia or, or Benefit or any high-end brow products so I definitely recommend checking Colourpop out because they have great products not just brow their eyeshadows are gorgeous okay now that my brows are on I'm going to set it with okay so I have used the Milani clear brow gel before I love it um I ran out of it though so I can't use it in this video or I would um, but I normally use the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. That's what I'm going to be using in this video. But 
um, obviously since it's a drugstore, use the Milani Clear Brow Gel. It's the exact same thing and it works so well and I have used it in past tutorials. That works. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use this but pretend like I'm using the Milani one. Now, going into the eyes, I already have basically primed my eyes, if you can see, um, the concealer that we used. That's why I did that um, while we were concealing. But if you guys didn't put it on your eyelids, go ahead and use the um, Age Rewind, just because this is a really great product um, to use to cancel all the discoloration and veins and stuff on your eyelids, and then set that. Um, you could either set it with a translucent powder or the Maybelline um, Better Skin. Doesn't matter, just make sure it's like... Um, skin toned and make sure it's set so the eyeshadows can blend very well on your eyelid. So now for eyeshadows, we're going to go in with the Maybelline The Blushed Nudes Palette. I knew I wanted to use this as soon as I saw it when I went into the drugstore and I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day. So here are the shades right here. It's upside down. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm so excited. So I didn't really have high expectations. I didn't really have expe expectations at all for this palette. But um, you will see that these blend so, so nicely. And I was super impressed when I was using this palette. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to go in with my Morphe E27 brush, which is my favorite blending brush just for transition colors. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this soft mauve shade right here in the palette. We're going to use this as our transition color. This is one of my favorite colors in the palette. And then the one that we use on the lid is so beautiful. I'm so impressed with the blendability of this eyeshadow palette. Okay, now I'm going to go with my Morphe M433 blending brush. Oh, I love this brush. It's perfect for precision um, and blending as well. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is just a dark brown color. And it has slight shimmer in it, but you don't see that in the crease. So this is the color that I will be going in with. What we're going to do is we're going to focus this just on the outer corner. We're not going to bring it in. I'm just going to focus it right here to create depth in the outer corner. While I'm blending, I'm kind of dragging it outward because I want to create just a soft, romantic, smoky eye. Um, by dragging it out and making it more cat-like, gives it that like s sexy, smoky effect. Also, by focusing that and just keeping it in the outer corner really creates that smoky effect. Now I'm just going to go back in with my E27 brush from Morphe. And blend these together <clears throat> to make sure everything is blended out. Now for lid colors, this is my favorite part of the entire tutorial. Um, we're going to go in with this beautiful shade right here. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Um, it is just a really nice soft rosy, rosy, rosy shimmery shade. And I'm going to place that on my lid with my Morphe E4, my Morphe E4, my Morphe M421 brush, which is just a really nice small shader brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the product. So we're going to pack that brush with the product. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my brush. I'm going to take any setting spray. You can use the Maybelline Master Fix or you can use the Milani Make It Last. Um, this is what I'll be using later on to set my makeup. But I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to spray my brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this on my entire lid. This shade is what really makes this look. Oh, I love it so much. So now for my favorite part of the look, we're going to go in with Maybelline New York's Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Gilded Rose. This is such a really cool concept. It basically is an eyeshadow in like a lipstick tube. Um, it is a little bit messy, so I like to just put it on the back of my hand and work with it with a brush. Go back in with the Morphe M421 brush, and I'm going to apply that. So what I'm going to do is I'm mainly just going to focus this on the center of my lid just to really bring a lot of light to the lid and make this look even better. Working it up and then a little bit above the crease. So mainly what we're doing is we're doing a spotlight eye so it kind of brings more attention to the center of the lids making your eyes look really big. Oh, I love it. So we're going to go in with this shade in the palette right here. In a corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade right here. And it's just a really soft, pale pink color. 
Now for lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my M432 brush from Morphe, and it's just, look at that, just a really perfect under eye um, brush. So we're going to take the mauve shade right here as our starter color. Now I'm going to go in with this brown shade that we used in the crease, and I'm going to focus this just on the outer corners of the eye. For that added smoky effect, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Smoke and Shine Automatic Gel Eyeliner. Oh my gosh, that's something in my eye. In the shade 002 Copper Bling. I love this for the waterline. It's just a really pretty brown shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the outer half of my eye, A, because my eyes will start watering like they are now. Now for lashes at drugstore, there's so many stinking eyelashes that you can choose from, from Ulta to Walgreens to CVS, like there's so many. But I knew that they just released this series um, with Ilore, and I really want to try some of them out because they are the vlogger series. So it is Ilore and, well I got I picked up two, there's four, um, I should have gotten all four, but I only picked two. Um, so I got the Ilore and Crazy Ray Ray collaboration, um, I'll show you what they look like because I use them. And then the Eyelor and Ann Lee. So these right here are for volume. And then I use this obviously in the other tutorials, so it's already out of the box. Um, but these are Crazy Ray Rays, and they're for Define. So I'm going to be using these because these are beautiful. So my favorite all-time mascara ever is Drugstore. Um, and it is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I've used this in like every tutorial, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's my go-to. I've I literally bought like 12 of them. Not kidding. Um, so I'm going to be using this for my lash. I love the brush on this because it just really the the lashes I like. I really like defined and long um, lashes. Not really like a volume. This just gives volume because it lengthens your lashes. I'm more of a lengthened girl. Um, now for the last thing, lips, I have, um, this is like one of my favorite shades ever. It's not a drugstore. Um, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Lilac, and I think it would go great with this look just because there's, because of this eyeshadow right here, um, it just like, this color just goes really well with this palette. Obviously it's not a drugstore though, um, and I do have one from ColourPop, and I think it's a dupe. It's called Viper. Um, I do have that, um, but it dries a little bit darker than the soft lilac. So I don't want to use that because I really want to keep this light and just super, super romantic and light and airy. Um, so I'm going to go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip in the shade Bedtime Flirt. It's a little bit more pink than I would like. I'd want more of like a nude or more of a rosy. So I got Viper. And I'm going to compare them so you guys can see. It's a little bit more pink, but it's about the same. This one's a little bit darker, which is Viper. It's a little bit darker, but it's a close, close shade. Um, that's why it draws a little bit darker, because it's darker in the tube. Now, I'll go with this color, and then I'll put that color on top. So I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Viper. See, it dries a little bit darker than I want it to, so I'm going to try and go in with uh, the NYX Lingerie and Bedtime Flirt just to see if I can nude it out a little bit and lighten it. So now, um, to set our makeup and make sure everything stays that long night on Valentine's Day. I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, and what it does, it says it prime, corrects, and sets in 16-hour wear. So you can use this as a primer if you guys like. Um, I have used the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray before, and I love it. It's the same thing. It's literally the same thing as the Urban Decay one. Um, but I saw this, and I wanted to try it out. And I do love it as well. It extends your makeup and makes sure it stays long. So both of them are great options. So I'm going to go and set my makeup with that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's really important that I get 
drugstore options out there for you guys just because not everyone has the same price range or can afford um, high-end products from Sephora or any of that and neither can I. Um, I usually have my go-to drugstore products but I don't really spend much time in there looking for products because it's just like one wall of like craziness. Um, but I did go in there and found amazing products that I use in this video and I really hope you guys love this video and recreate it for Valentine's Day and feel really pretty and really feminine on that day. Um, so yeah, if you guys did like this video and you guys do like me doing drugstore option videos, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these types of videos for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any more of my videos and posts. So I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys!